Is it your misfortune then not my own? Yippee ki I ho get along, you little doggy, to know that the ferry will be your new home. Now for the Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim meets Texas Lil. A train was moving slowly across the plains, headed for the mining town of Elk Lodge. Well, Doc, I'm sure glad you're coming to Elk Lodge. Well, thanks, sir. I hope the rest of the folks in town will feel the same way. Oh, <laughs> sure they will. You know, the last doctor we had left town said he figured Elk Lodge was just a little bit too wild for him. <laughs> But you don't look like the man with scares easy. Well, I saw plenty of action during the war, Sheriff. That's so. Uh, can he handle shooting iron? Oh, yes, yes. Well, that's good. You see, Elk Lodge is a mining town, Doc. And it's bound to be some gunplay. Of course, I try to uphold the law best I can. Sure, sure. By the way, Sheriff, uh, who's this Texas Lil who's been holed up in trains and banks? Oh, so you heard about Texas Lil, eh? Yes, yes. They, they tell me she's quite a hand with a gun. Yes, yes, she sure is. One of the best two draw shots on the plains. Hmm, have you met up with her? Uh, well, no, no. But from what they tell me, she's a wild cat packing animal. That's so. <laughs> well, seems like you're trying to imitate the Jesse James boy. <laughs> Say, she don't imitate him. He's got him licked. Why, some of the jobs that she's got away with would make your hair stand on end. Yes, sir. Take my advice, Doc, and keep out of Texas Lil's way. Well, from what you say, Sheriff, I'd kind of like to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure looking for trouble, all right. Uh, say, uh, what's the train stopping here for? Yes, yeah, the water car, I reckon. Oh. Put your hands up, folks. Uh, yeah, oh, holy smoke. Look out. All of you. Hands off. Keep them covered while I get the cash. <laughs> Listen, Lisa. I've been getting How much? Folks, come on, drop your pocketbooks in the bag when I come by. Come on, Baldy. I've seen you sit that bill fold under the seat. Pull it out quick. Sure. Here it is. Don't shoot me. Come on, in the bag. Keep your hands well, up. Well, Sheriff, it looks like I didn't have to wait long to meet up with Texas Lil. <laughs> When the railroads pushed across the open plains of the Old West, they were met by the outlaws and bandits who roamed the frontier country. The trains carried mail and gold shipments, and there was always plenty of cash in the pockets of the early travelers. Assisting the troopers and local peace officers to maintain law and order in this wild country were the fearless and courageous United States Marshals. These stirring days come back to us now in the thrilling adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Thunders, oh, boy. Oh. Hey, what's up, Report just come in. Another train was held up outside Elk Lodge. Well, did they catch the Yeager who done it? No, report says it was Texas Lil's gang. Texas Lil? You don't believe me. Come on, we're heading for Elk Lodge. Let's go, Thunder! <laughs> Easy, Sam. Easy, sir. Easy. Uh, that's good. I'll be all right. Yeah. I guess it was the conductor. He winked me in the shoulder. Yeah, you will breathe plenty more, senor. Yeah. Come on, Pancho. We'll take him in the shack. And you'll hightail back to Elk Lodge for a sawbone. Si, senor. <laughs> Sheriff, 
Any news about Texas Lil? Nope. Uh, she and her gang made a clean getaway. Me and the party just got back. She must be a mighty clever woman, sir. Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, did you get fixed up with a house, Doc? Oh, yes, yes. I moved into that little house by the creek. Well, that's good. I'll be dropping in on you right soon. But, well, that's uh, another thing. Uh, oh, uh, howdy, Boncho. What, what's on your mind? I would like to see you alone in your office, senor. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, I, 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 I'll see you later, Doc. All right, sir. What do you think of Elk Lodge? Well, I don't know yet, Lightning. I wait till I look around. There's Neaton House across the street. <laughs> no, you're talking, Lightning. <laughs> I want the nice big juicy well, steak by Gallagher. boy. Whitey, look who's here. You're by a minute, I stop Paul. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure glad to see you, hey, boy. Glad to see you, Doc. What are you doing in Elk Lodge? Oh, huh? just a little private business, Doc. Tracking down some train robbers. Oh, you wouldn't be after Texas Lil. Huh? No, she's the one, all right. Well, she and her gang held up a train the other side of Elk Lodge today. Yeah, we heard about it. That's why we come up here. Well, boys, you're looking at the man who was on that train. Why well, do you yep. work? Yep, I wasn't carrying a lot of cash, though. She didn't get much from me. Oh, so you was lucky. Yes, right. and, and you know, the funny thing about it was, I was sitting next to the sheriff of Elk Lodge when that train stopped, and in walked Texas Lil. Did the sheriff make a play to get her? No, no, but I guess it didn't have much time to draw he was in and out of that coach before you could wink an eye. What'd she look like, Doc? Well, she was tall, built more like a man. Mm -hmm. Wore a felt hat and a mask, and she talked like she meant business. Sheriff tried to follow her? Yes, yes, he got up a posse, but they couldn't pick up a trail. Uh, he was here just a minute ago, and some Mexicans come up, and uh, they went across the street to the sheriff's office. Oh, uh, you see a Mexican road up, huh? Yeah, there's... Quite a few Mexicans around here. They're, they're working the mine. Yeah, I see. Well, you know, it's been uh, most of years since I've seen you boys. Yeah, <laughs> last time was in there. That's right. I've been in your That's right, Doc. Yeah, I heard that Elk Lodge was building up, so I thought I'd come out and start up my practice. Good yeah. idea, Doc. Say, uh, why don't you boys come on down to my house? Well, huh? we'll be glad to do that, hey, Doc. Yeah, but uh, first I got to get something to eat, you know. <laughs> How about joining us, Doc? Oh, thanks, thanks. I've had my dinner. Oh. I tell you, though, when you boys get through, come on down. I live right down this road in the White House by the creek there. You, you can't miss it. All right, Doc. We'll be down. He ought to do that. Well, then, I'll see you later, boy. So long, Doc. Come on, Lightning. Let's go. I, I could eat the whole car. <laughs> All right, Whitey. We'll eat and then go over and have a talk with the sheriff. <laughs> You listen to me, Poncho. I told you before about coming up and talking to me on the street. But, senor, what I have to say is most important. The train conductor shot at us and Sam, he was wounded. What? Si, senor. What? Did he get bad? A bullet to the shoulder, senor. He bleed plenty much. And the senorita say I must get the doctor quick. Yeah? Well, where is he? At our hideout place in Secret Valley, senor. I hear there is a new doctor in town. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Where does he stay? He just moved into that white house by the creek. See, si, I will go get him now. Come on, come on, clear out of here. I want you to get out of here. See, I will go out the back door, senor. Don't worry about Sam. The doctor will fix him up good. Right. Well, uh, come in. Howdy, Jeff. Well, uh, what can I do for you, strangers? My name's Jim Whipple, United States Marshal from Fort Anderson. Right then, Jim, huh? Yeah. This is my deputy, Whitey Lost. Well, um, well, howdy. Oh, pleased to meet you. Uh, well, uh, well, sit down, Jim. Thanks. Well, sir, I've sure heard a lot about you, Lightning. That so? Yes, sir. Well, <clears throat> what brings you here to Elk Lodge? Well, we got a report about the train holdup. Oh, uh, yeah? Understand it was Texas Lil again. But... Yeah, yeah. I got up a posse and went out right after her, but uh, didn't have much luck picking up a trail, though. Hey, she's plenty smart and slippery as a eel. Well, that train was carrying mail, Sheriff. That makes it a government crime. Thought maybe you could help us, and we could help you, and maybe catch up with us. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. I understand the railroads offered a five thousand dollar reward. Yep. Yeah, didn't notice any reward signs posted, so I figured you hadn't heard about it. Yeah, well, well, I got the sign right here in the desk, but I ain't had time to put it up yet. I see. 
Any idea where Texas Lil might be hiding out? We'll see. Now, if I knew that, I'd go and get her. <laughs> sure, that's right. Me and Whitey will mosey around town tonight, and tomorrow we'll do a little scouting. Might run into something. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And uh, and if you see anything, uh, let me know. Sure, yes. Come on, Whitey. What do you think? I'd say the sheriff wasn't any too glad to see us, Whitey. You ought to so. And he didn't say anything about being on that train, neither. No. Why do you keep an eye on the sheriff's office? Watch where he goes. I'm going down the road and see the doctor. There's some more questions I want to ask him. <laughs> does he have with Texas Lil? You'll hear the answer to this question and the climax to this thrilling Lightning Jim adventure in part two, which follows immediately. Come on. 
Let's go, Thunder! Yes, boy. How do you feel now, Sam? Eh, uh, kind of weak, I reckon. Yeah, you sure lost a lot of blood, all right. As soon as the doctor gets here, he can take out that bullet and you'll be all right. Yeah, but the water poncho don't get hold of the sawbones. Don't worry about that. You mind how Poncho brung a doc up here the time I was winged in the arm, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, how much cash do we get off of that train? Six thousand in gold dust and cash. That means a thousand apiece for you and Poncho and your brother. And the rest for me. Hmm. Seems like we ought to split even, Lil. Split even? Well, listen to the man talk. I'm running this outfit. And I'm paying you boys to do what I tell you. And if you don't like that arrangement, you can clear out any time you feel like it. Oh, but Lil, I was just thinking that... You let me do the thinking. Hey, somebody's coming. Oh, 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 oh. senor. About time you was getting back, Poncho. The doc? Si, senorita. Where's his blindfold? You didn't bring him up here without covering up his eyes, did you? No, no, senorita. He just took it off outside. Oh, good. Sorry we had to sort of kidnap you, doc, but... We got a man here with a bullet in his shoulder, and I figured he needed somebody that knew how to take it out. Well, don't stand there staring at me. Get busy, you hear? Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes, of course. I, I think we'd better have a look at that wound first. Uh, sure, uh, it's right here in the left shoulder. Yes, uh, when did this happen? Uh, today. Mm hmm. Yes, that is a bad wound. Well, I'll get some instruments ready. I'll need some hot water. Thought you would, so I heated some up. It's on the stove in the back room there. The shot. See, si, but I have more news. Yeah? When I was in town, I hear the gold shipment will go and train tonight. Good. That's what we've been waiting for. But lightning, uh, I don't see where the shell could have gone. So I've had right for this water. And then we come out from behind him, Captain Wood, see what's going. Yeah, as far as I can see, there ain't no trail out of here, except the one we come in on. Yo, that's so he couldn't climb up the side of the cliff. See, see, maybe he went through the waterfall. Through the waterfall. Sure, I think you got it, buddy. That could be a passage behind that water that leads out on the other side of the cliff. Yo, that's what I was thinking. Well, if there's a passage, the sheriff could have gone through the water. And if he did, I reckon we can do the same thing. Adam Thunder, come on, boy. on a special train tonight. Didn't you know about it? No. Did, uh, did Poncho bring the doc up here? Uh, sure. The doc fixed up my arm. Yeah? Where's he now? Inside, sleeping. 
Poncho is taking him back tomorrow. Listen, Sam. Lightning Jim and the deputy are on your trail. Lightning Jim? Yeah. And there's a $5,000 reward on Lil's head. Looks like this is the end of Texas Lil's gang. Uh, they won't catch up with Lil? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Sam. And I don't figure to let Lightning Jim get the credit for this job. For I'm aiming to put an end to it and the gang myself. Oh, so that's it. It's yeah. a double cross, Sam. Yeah, and I'm starting right now. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sheriff, put him up. Here, well, I, I, I thought you was asleep there, Doc. Drop that gun or I'll shoot. Well, sure. Sure, I will. <laughs> it's too bad, Doc. Gee, I'm sorry I had to drill you. But you, you heard too much. And dead men can't talk. Now, now I'm going to the water tower and get Lil. Wolf on the two boys. Yeah. Two. Two. Don't be him, my lad. Look there on the ground. Yeah. With the gunfight, all right. You all must be shooting the herd coming up, huh? Yeah. Well, this death was dead. Oh, and there's another one over there. Yeah, let's have a look at him. See, you, you think this is Texas, little skank? Don't know, buddy. Well, it looks like this fella's gone, too. No, yeah. no. He's alive. No. Oh. Uh, turn him over. Yeah, take it easy now, Whitey. There. Oh, yes. You bring him in. It's the doctor. No. Is that you, Lightning? Yes, Doc. Oh, Texas Lil is, is robbing the gold chain at the water tower. Easy now, Doc. Easy. Oh, he, he got me, Lightning. And you got him, Doc. He's gone, but you're going to live. He got away. What? Get him, Lightning. What's he talking about? The other fellas did. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Doc. Can you hear me? Yes. Did you see the sheriff? Yes. It, it was the sheriff who, who killed that other man. What? Oh, I tried to get the sheriff, Lightning, but he got me first. You won't be him, man. Come on, Whitey. Let's take the doc inside the cabin. And then we are going after the skunk who shot him. <laughs> Quiet, quiet. All of you. 
Yes, Lil. I got something to tell you. Yeah, yeah, don't pay no attention to her right now. Hold on, Sheriff. I reckon <laughs> she's got a right to talk. All right, Lil. What you got to say? The sheriff was in with me. What? 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 He tipped us off. On the gold, Sipper. That's a lie. She's crazy, I tell you. Oh, no, no, I ain't crazy. The sheriff's own brother is one of my gang. He's up at our hide up with the doctor right now. The sheriff double crossed us to get the reward. Yeah, well, that's a pretty speech, all right, Lil. But you can't put the blame on me for what you've done in Brewitt. I'm the law here in Elk Lodge, and I caught you. Reach for the sky, Sheriff. Quick, hey, oh, yeah, well, what's your idea? What about the sheriff? Take his gun, Whitey. Hey, what's your word? Sheriff, up in that hidden valley behind that waterfall, there's a dead man and a badly wounded one. But what Lil just said, the dead man is your brother, and the other one is the doctor. You shot both of them. Well, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You made a mistake, Sheriff. You left them two men up there thinking they was both dead. Whitey and me come up to that cabin after you left, and the doc told us who shot him and your brother. Dr. Paul's testimony will put a rope around your neck, Sheriff. Why the yellow double-crossing Paul cat? I just hope I live long enough to see that critter swing from the gallows. another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm.